So, it's been a year since I bought a knife, or more, actually, because this thing is full. Well, maybe. What's going on everybody? This is Patrick with Mid-10 Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing? I hope this video is finding you well. So no, I have not bought a knife of any kind in almost a year. Maybe longer. Um, I'm kind of happy with the ones I have. That's kind of why I haven't bought anything. Nothing's really caught my attention, shall we say. But I got to looking today because I was like, man, I haven't bought a knife in a while. Now, I, I am technically out of room in my knife box. We'll turn around. We'll go through it here in a little bit. But I was on Blade HQ and a few other places and some knives popped in and, you know, and um, I was like, okay, those are, those are kind of cool. I might have to think about that. Now, I have a criteria for pocket knives. The most I'll spend is for something like this. Now, this is a uh, Spyderco Paramilitary 3 in Digicam Black Blade. Um, that's probably the most between it and my, where is it? My Benchmade. That's the most I'm going to spend on a blade. So let's, let's look at my, where I stand with my collection right now. And um, I don't know. Maybe it will grow One. this year. Okay, so let's start over here with my blades. We'll go through the different brands that I have. I actually have them separated out by brand. First one is going to be this bad boy. This is the Spyderco Paramilitary 2 or 3. I can't remember. Um, and it doesn't say. But uh, this probably will pretty close to the most expensive blade I've got. Um, I just don't spend a whole lot on blades. Now, you talk about love, hate with a knife. I have lost two of these, and this one is about to freaking come apart because it's so loose. I, I don't understand. I've never had that, or don't understand why it's so loose. But that's my all black Tenacious. I love the Tenacious, but I have lost Two of them dead blame things. And I forgot the name of this one. It's a little stubby blade. But um, I'll annotate, I'll put it down below. I don't want to say big words because I can't say those. So that's my Spyderco collection. We'll get into my um, CRKT. I love CRKT knives. They've got a couple that I wouldn't mind snatching up. And maybe looking at those, this is my CRKT Lake. I love that blade. Now, you'll notice something about most of my knives. I don't like serrated blades. Just never have. This is my M16. You'll see right there. It says it on that side. Of course, it's upside down. Sorry. I just started YouTube the other day. Learning how to do all this stuff. This is the CRKT Caligo. I love the lines on this blade, on this knife. They got really neat. Um, as a matter of fact, I think the guy designed it after like a car design. If you can, you can see the swoops on it and everything, it's a gorgeous knife. I carried it for a while, and I, I will explain why I don't carry a lot of these anymore. Uh, CRKT Razzle. This is a big son of a gun right here. That thing is huge. I mean, you know how if you know how big paramilitary is, well, look, this thing's thicker, um, a little bit longer. I love that blade. I've used this. I've used the crap out of this one, actually. I've carried the living crap out of that one. Okay, so my next brand I have two of, and I really like their knives. This is Civivi. This is the cheaper brand of Wii knives, if you're familiar with Wii knives. 
Now, when you say, when I say cheaper, you still get in the 90 to hundred dollar range if you're not careful with some of their knives. But uh, I like this one. This is the Elementum, Elementum, something like that. And then this one is the Perf. Now I had a video out about this particular knife at one time. Well, it should still be out. Comparing it to another one you'll see here in a little bit, how much more I like this one and the reasoning behind it. Maybe I'll put that in a card and you can watch that. So the only one I have, the only one I have of a Swiss Army knife is the Tracker. I have that one. I love this knife. I have carried it a bunch of times, uh, camping and stuff. It's a good knife to have. It's a good knife for camping. The only thing I don't like is there's not a clip on their knives. Now, I know the reasoning behind it. It's a pocket knife, and I get that. I just like to have my knife on a clip. I could put it in a sheath. I don't like sheaths. I'm weird. So that's my only Swiss Army. one. Okay, my next one is probably you're going to get into your cheaper style knives. I have a few of them because I'm cheap. But this one's a Gerber. I couldn't, I don't remember. Minute, it was unlocked to begin with. Uh, I don't remember the name of this one. I don't remember the names of a lot of them. I don't remember my name sometimes. But, um, I, you know, Gerber's trying to be that. You know, it's got a ball opener on it and a couple other things that you can do with it. It's a nice knife. It's heavy. It's thick. Um, that's why I don't carry it. This one, the thumb stud broke on it. It's like a month after having it. I like the concept and the idea serrated blade was the only thing i really didn't like about it but i liked the knife i just quit carrying it and because the thumb stuff was that gone and it was hard to carry then this is the gerber what do they call these edge no they call it something else i'll link it down below uh this is pretty neat um the one thing i said this knife needed or this tool needed was a pocket clip on it and there's been several people make one on Etsy for these things so if you're looking for one go on Etsy because they have them so this one is the one that I compared to the Civivi and the reason why I didn't like this one over the Civivi now compare them real quick you can see the difference in the holes and everything this thumb stud sucks. I'm going to be honest. It sucks. That's one of the worst thumb studs I've ever seen on a knife. Um, it, it, if it's in your pocket, pocket carrying, this thing sticks up a lot on the inside, and it's rough. I mean, it's bad rough. Um, okay, so we're going to get into another brand that I have. I have a few of these too. SOG. Um, I've never been... Oh, how should I say this? I don't want to down them. Um, that's a SOGzilla. Um, this is a Slipzilla. Because it's a slip joint knife. I don't know why I don't... I'm not, I mean, I like these knives. They're pretty cool. This one's really nice. Um, the slip joint, if you're not used to a slip joint, you're not flipping that out real fast because it locks there and it's in. Um, I'm just not a big fan of the slip joint. I mean, I, well, I'm not a big fan of the SOGs. I, I mean, I like them, but I don't. Uh, I think when I got this one, not long after having it, the pocket clip broke on it and I haven't carried it since. I could probably get another pocket clip. I just haven't. Um, but I mean, this is a nice knife. I'm not going to get rid of it. I like it. Uh, I just never have been a big SOG fan. So my next fairly expensive knife is this Benchmade. That's the only Benchmade I own. Um, I don't even remember which one it is. 
Uh, I suck at the brand of the names, but that's my only bench made. I like that knife. Um, it's the rat folder, but this makes a really good camp pocket knife. Um, it's the blades very stout. This one ain't loose. I'm gonna have to, gonna have to tighten that spider co up. Um, I got this off of Etsy. It's just a fill up body filler. Really does nothing. It gives you a little grip. You can feel it when you've got it in your hand that it's there. So it gives you a little extra grip. So next we're going to go to my Kershaw's. Now I have a few Kershaw's. This one being the first. Um, and I don't remember which one this is. But I have it. <laughs> this sucks. I don't know. I can't remember the names of some of these knives. Um... There's the other Kershaw. I, man, I come across this thing in the gun range one time. Pew pew. And um, this is a Hinder design. It's all metal, um, but it's a nice knife. It's heavy knife for the size. Um, it's a flipper. If you like flippers, I like flippers. I have no problems with flippers. Uh, this is another Kershaw. This is called the three-quarter ton or something like that, I think. Is it on there? No. Put your names and your knives on the blade somewhere. But I like this um, pocket clip. It looks like a wrench. Um, pretty cool. I like I like this knife. I used to carry it all the time. Like I said, I just don't carry a pocket knife anymore. Then I got a buck. Who hadn't had a buck in their times? I think this one is a, I can't remember. God, I can't remember none of the names of these knives. But um, I've had this one a long time. I just don't carry it very much. I, well, I don't carry any of my knives anymore, hardly. Then this one is a K-Bar Dozer Design Blade. I used to keep this in my truck above my sun visor, and I thought, man, somebody's going to steal that. I actually met this guy at Blade Show one year. Super nice guy. Um, but yeah, I love this blade. I love this this particular look on this blade. The desert camo and the black blade. So we're going to get into a couple of other old, old knives. These were my dad's and my grandfather's. Um, they look rough because they are rough. They were used, used hard. Then this one is another one. This case, this was this was definitely my grandfather's. This one was my dad's because he made the um, shoot. Sorry, I'm trying to get the light. He made the scales for this one himself. This is an old case that my grandfather had, and this was one. I'm not sure who had it, but it's a real rough. You know, multi-blade style knife. Cut. Three, two, one. Okay. So the big reason why I don't carry a pocket knife hardly anymore, just as a pocket knife, is because I got into Leatherman. Uh, this is the Leatherman. Let's see. This is the Free K2. Now I have the Free P4, which is the multi-tool. And I love that thing. I actually carry it every day. Um, but Leatherman has kind of broke me from carrying a not pocket knife, per se, every day. Um, and something I like, you'll notice that all of my, yeah, all of my um, Leathermans that I have have pocket clips on them. Because I won't have them if I can't have a pocket clip on them. This is my Leatherman Bond. I carried it for a long time. And it's still stupid stiff. I mean, real. I have pinched my fingers with this particular um, Leatherman so many times, it's not even funny. Then this one, I think, is the Sidekick. I love the Sidekick. I carried this one for a long time also. The big thing for it I like is the spring spring loaded pliers. Um, 
or I've got, I'll put the playlist of all of my different blades and stuff up. Apologize, I don't remember the names of some of them. And then this is my Leatherman Skeletal. Um, this one you have to be careful carrying also. It can, it can hurt you in your pocket. It's got some sharp edges and stuff. But um, this one's more suited for somebody backpacking or something. Maybe you need a tool to do things with. I think this one's more suited for that than it is for an everyday EDC. Um, unless you want lightweight EDC because it is a lot lighter. It's, yeah, it's a lot lighter than the, the sidekick and I don't know. I, yeah, yeah, it's a lot lighter even than the Bond. And I know it's probably going to be lighter than my, uh, my free P4. But that's basically all my good um, EDC knives that I carry from time to time. Not all the time, but from time to time. All right, guys, I want to thank you for joining me on this little knife adventure I've got going on here. What am I going to get next? Well, I've got a couple I'm looking at, so you'll see pretty soon. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Please share, subscribe, and like, and we'll see you on the next one.